What's your inspiration for the mobiles, mobiles, mobiles? Well, basically my mother, you know, her patience and I was a daydreamer and, you know, wool gatherer, as she said, and she was very patient and you know, had the faith that something would amount to it and this is a result. You know, my mind it just goes everywhere. And You used stones and uh, wood, wood and tin cans. Yeah. The tin can is sea ration can from Vietnam era, and I put that, you know, ordered that on eBay. And a 50 year old sea ration can. Could you believe that? I was almost scared to open it. What was in it? Uh, pound cake looks good enough to eat. <laughs> well, it didn't look that much edible, you know, 50 years ago. I guess it's how hungry you were. Right. Ground it down, shaped it with an angle grinder, and originally it didn't didn't have any cracks. And I put it in the car, and the heat from the sun drove the moisture out of the wood, and the wood cracked. The checked. And how did you get the lacing part? The what? The lacing. I. I bought that uh, uh, Ranger Surplus in Wisconsin Avenue. It's a rawhide uh, boot lacing. And did you put the holes in it to lace it? Yeah. I drilled the holes and put the little screws in it. And Where'd you get the wood from? Neighbor. Cut the tree down and I said, I collected that, that piece of wood that looked interesting. And, uh, How about those other ones, the lady figures, wood, those wood pieces? I Just a piece of firewood that I ground down. Uh, most of it is uh, wood that is hard to crack because the branches are, you know, 